the light. Because they are so reactive when they expose them to light. So they are kept in such dark rooms. And then there are some experiments which are supposed to be carried out in the dark. Because the light makes the reaction more biochemical. No, what have you been using before? So the before this was used, they have been used. They usually such, such chemicals we usually have, we have some some products where we use them and we don't know that how that is. So that then for for the kitty, we used to use your know, charcoal stove and the paraffin stove. And I think this one is really really good to help us. We are so grateful to the government of Japan for this. There must be a reason to come here to celebrate his goodness. And that is exactly what is right. That our Lord is good. His love is eternal. His love is so wide and is so deep that we cannot express. And indeed God is a loving God. When he touches somebody with his love, we see very miraculous things happening. What we don't expect happening. And this is the works of the Lord. Today we are here to celebrate His deep love that He shares through His people. God gave that touch of love to our partners, the government of Japan, through the ambassador of Japan, Uganda. He heard that touch of God and felt that he is part of this community. And he felt that our problem here is also their problem. What we lack here is also part of their responsibility. You cannot imagine somebody all the way from Japan coming to identify with our colleges here. This is all about the love of God that we have in us. And that is what the book that we read in the house here. God's love is so deep and reaches people in different places at different times to respond to him through giving compassionate support to those in need. And today, when we see this building does not come from the blue, it is the work of God through his love. And we have a reason to thank God. We want to say thank you, Ambassador, the government of Japan for having us in heart to be part of your brothers and sisters, to share our challenges and to stand with us. To see that our children have all that they need to achieve their education here. And so that is the purpose why we are here, to thank God for the good thing that has happened here. May God bless the hands that have contributed to us this person. A demonstration where you see signals of devil around all us. So we pray that this person is for good of us and we improve on our performance. The government is focusing on sciences.
because that is his book. But you want to be the beneficiary of that. Today I wish I become a doctor because they're enhancing the salaries of doctors and look the money very nice. And that should be a motivation to you. Doesn't mean that arts are bad, arts are so good. So as we concentrate, where God has given you a little wisdom, concentrate on that wisdom. Concentrate on that talent. At the end of the day, the God will give you this as one of the treasures of this school. For me, my first time to be practical was in the exams of UNEP themselves. I never got just to do practicals as far as the teaching and learning was concerned. But for you, you are lucky. You've got the state of art science lab. Please use it. We are blessed today to have this facility and the commissioning ceremony of the science laboratory. Indeed, as a school, we suffered all these years using charcoal stove, all oh, this stove that uses paraffin, no gas cylinders, space is so limited, aeration very poor, classes that are crowded. Today, we are blessed that a big facility three unit the laboratory has been commissioned for us. And I want to say there for that as staff and students this particular school we pledge that we shall work very hard to at least improve the results, especially in the sciences, to match with the facility. <laughs> Kutuwezesha sote kwa hapa leo. Manake kile mkitu ni manyezi mungu anayoweza kufanya na anayoweza kutuweka hadi leo hii. Au siyo? Aha muna ngugu na mbona muna wanaka na maridadi. Sasa mimi sita ungea sana. Sasa nitampa manangu wa mwisho kwanza unge. Kwanza naanza na hafute wa sadimia alafu na mpacha. Remember the day the president was here and he spoke about the school like Honorable uh, James Baba mentioned and it has come to life when I see the buildings and the pupils in their lovely uniforms it has come to life <laughs> this talks about the word the kind of seed that you sow uh, the kind of seed uh, my left father sowed um, and it has become a tree with everybody trying to water it, everything, all things work for the good of those who love the Lord. May God richly bless you. Ambassador of Japan, this may seem something very simple to you, but you have sown, you have planted a seed. Even when you go back to Japan, this laboratory is going to touch the lives of uh, the children of Koboko and more generations to come. We are going to have you given uh, the people of Koboko an opportunity to excel in science. Doing this because this was a boy who emerged from this village of Amadunga and rose to the highest levels of government. He demonstrated that you can come from a very poor home, from a very poor village and go to the best schools in this country and even become the Speaker of Parliament of the Republic of Uganda. We started this uh, process from 1992. Up to now, we have handed over uh, 274 projects since then, including this school. What is the tough part of this, this project is that every year we receive 400 to 500 applications from all over Uganda. Unfortunately, due to the lack of funds, due to the lack of human resources, we can only do 9 or 10 projects a year. Among 400, we can only do maximum 10. So it's a big, big competition. In every 
projects, we value two words. One is partnership and one is ownership. Partnership is, for instance, for this school, is Francis Ayume Memory Secondary School, our partner. Ownership means we work with serious people. Serious means that for these projects, we cannot work with schools or health centers say we need help. And after two years, my team will come here again. <laughs> well, again means this is the hard part. They will check whether the facilities are used properly, whether it's well maintained, etc. Okay? Then discuss about the future projects. Okay. This is very important. Why? Because I have to tell you that this money is not from the embassy or not from the government of Japan. It's from the taxpayer of Japan. And we have the responsibility to, to see that the taxpayers are paying for the right projects. So please use it properly, maintain it, and I hope to see the boys and girls here will get a good education and go farther on. I just want to finish my speech by saying my dream. Uh, we also have a scholarship to Japan. It just, uh, the application was just closed in June, this month, third. But every year, we have a scholarship. And my dream is that in the next application, I want to see a person from this school, and I want to see that this boy or girl will go to Japan for our deep in our future relationship. The laboratory has been commissioned. I'm very happy for it. I know that students are just waiting for it, and we are going to are going to do part of in this laboratory, which will make for other students to pass the Olympics also. Since we're in Singapore, I know next year we shall also be coming for A-level help just because of this laboratory. So we feel very happy and also the students at class feel very happy. I feel very, very happy to see that today our new constructed laboratory has been commissioned and then from here we are going to have our science experiments done in the laboratory and then having them done in the laboratory is going to really impact a lot in our life experiences and